the Chuga Hadupa project is a, is is the uh, largest hydropower project in the in our in the kingdom of Bhutan, and it has been uh, constructed uh, based upon the deep uh, friendship between the two countries of India and Bhutan. Uh, the construction of the project was started as a result of uh, an agreement signed between the two countries in March 1974, and uh, the project was taken up by the Chuga Project Authority which consisted of uh, directors from the government of India as well as the directors of uh, government of Bhutan and the project consists of 336 megawatts power plant and this 336 megawatt power plant is made up by four units the first unit was commissioned in 1986 and the second unit was also commissioned a few months after in 1986 only. By 1988, all the four machines were commissioned. And in 1988, the project was also inaugurated by the President of India and His Majesty, the King of Bhutan. And after that, from 1991, the project was incorporated under the Companies Act of the Kingdom and ever since after that the project is, has been functioning as a corporation which is fully owned by the government of Bhutan. Okay. Uh, how would you say that Chukha symbolizes uh, the path Bhutan has taken to go towards the future? Well, as I said uh, uh, just before this, the, this is the project, the, the only major hydropower power project in Bhutan and, and uh, this has in fact uh, the completion of this project and the successful operation of this project has in fact paved the way for further future development of hydropower projects in Bhutan. Uh, for example, just downstream of this project we have the Tala hydroelectric project which consists of which which uh, will be of 1020 megawatts almost three times the uh, capacity of the Chuga hydroelectric project now the Tala hydroelectric project has come up uh, because of the confidence that the Chuga hydroelectric, hydroelectric project has given to both the countries to take up another joint venture scheme okay. and uh, can you uh Explain a little bit about the power situation in Bhutan, uh, the demand and the supply situation that exists today and as it existed before Chukha. Uh, before Chukha, we had only this uh, small mini hydroelectric plants and micro hydroelectric plants. Uh, these mini and micro hydroelectric plants were functioning isolated with each other and they used to cater to the power demand of only uh, independent localities and they were not interconnected together. So, uh, and then uh, in, in the southern parts of Bhutan, we used to get power from the, either the Assam Electricity Board or the, West, uh, uh, or, the, or the West Bengal State Electricity Board. And you can say that the total power consumption in Bhutan at that time would hardly exceed uh, 3 megawatts and uh, now with the coming of this sugar hydroelectric project I think if you talk about the present demand of the power situation in this country it is almost 55 megawatts and it is nearing 60 megawatts also and as a result of the sugar hydroelectric power project coming up and because of the available availability of cheap power uh, major industries have come up in the southern parts of uh, uh, this part of Bhutan, uh, for example, the Bhutan Calcium Carbide Project, the Bhutan Ferro Alloys Limited, these are the major industries out of so many others. Uh, and then we have the cement plant at Gomtu. Uh, so, with the coming up of this uh, project, these industries have also come up, and then the present, uh, and then the further the electricity has been reached to all the villages and other parts of almost all the western parts of Bhutan 
and the southern part of uh, south southwestern part of Bhutan. So the uh, total demand that our sugar is meeting is about 60, close to 60 megawatts, I would say. So uh, would it be correct if I say that Chuha has in a way acted as a catalyst for industrialization to take place in Bhutan? Yes, yes. Uh, I would say that uh, I think you are very correct in uh, saying that uh, it has acted as a catalyst. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, uh, the, the Chuka Hydropower pro project has really boosted the economy of the country, uh, the soci and, and it, has, it has really um, contributed a lot towards the socio-economic development of the country. And uh, uh, with the further enhancement of tariff, uh, I think uh, the, the impact uh, uh, towards the socio-economic development of this country uh, will be even uh, much more. Can you uh, explain a little bit about uh, the power policy of the government or, uh, you know, what is the future projection overall of Bhutan? If uh uh, Bhutan is very rich in, rich in hydropower potential. <coughs> um, in fact, uh, the country has uh, so many uh, uh, about uh, three major river basins in the country and uh, uh, the, the government has already uh, done a master power plan study uh, through a Norwegian consultant and uh, even the government of India has uh, helped uh, us in um, assessing the hydropower potential of the country and they have also identified a number of project sites uh, for example, in the same uh, river basin uh, on which this sugar hydroelectric project is based, they have taken up, uh, they have identified two more sites. Uh, both of them are reservoir schemes apart from the Tala project which is under construction. And so, the, the, uh, if you talk in terms of um, uh, the potential of the hydropower in the country, it is amounting to almost 30,000 megawatts out of which we have only uh, tapped about 340 megawatts of power at present. So the Bhutan, uh, Bhutan has a lot uh, to gain by careful uh, harnessing of hydropower project, uh, projects uh, in the country. And uh, with, the, with the friendship of the two countries growing ever stronger uh, and uh, uh, and uh, and uh, with uh, with both the countries uh, very keen to uh, to take up such a major project uh, with the mutual cooperation and understanding i think uh, the scope of bhutan uh, in terms of uh, hydropower harnessing and uh, de development resulting out of that is is very very bright i would say okay one last question which comes up from what you've just said you said the potential is 30,000 megawatts. Bhutan has the potential yes. of uh, 30,000 megawatts. What would Bhutan do with 30,000 megawatts? Uh, we, of course, when I say it is 30,000 megawatts, it doesn't mean that uh, we would be uh, we would be tapping that. Uh, uh, we, we it would it would be possible for us to tap that uh, enormous potential, but. Uh, uh, we, when, when, when we tap the potential gradually, uh, we, uh, uh, like uh, for example by getting assistance from India or uh, some other uh, arrangement, uh, I think uh, uh, the bulk of it would be sold, exported to, to uh, India. And uh, uh, so uh, I think the demand, the local demand may not uh, uh, justify uh, for consumption of the entire uh, potential as such. So entire uh, whatever we are generating from here would have to be sold to India. Uh, sorry, I said last question. What percentage of Bhutan would you say is, enjoys the benefits of electricity? Uh, I would not be able to uh, tell the exact figure uh, of how much uh, we, are, uh, we, we have extended uh, to, I mean, what is the percentage of the country coverage uh, that has been given by uh, our, uh, I mean, the power, how much uh, Bhutan has been covered at present. 
but I can say that this project, uh, the uh, sugar hydroelectric project, has almost covered the entire western Bhutan, uh, entire western Bhutan, and the western Bhutan consists of uh, all these uh, zongkaks uh, like Thimphu zongkak, Paro, uh, Ha, Shuka, Samchi. So all these western zongkaks have been covered by uh, Chuka power, and uh, similarly in eastern Bhutan we have. Uh, as I said earlier, we have uh, these mini hydroelectric projects which have covered almost uh, uh, the main uh, uh, localities, the main important centers of the uh, districts have been covered. Uh, we st still have a lot of villages which have not been covered, especially in the eastern part of Bhutan. But uh, I think with the coming up of uh, the Kurichu hydroelectric project in eastern Bhutan, uh, with the commissioning of that project, I think uh, uh, the villages in eastern Bhutan will also uh, get uh, full coverage of electricity.